Hello everyone, welcome to episode 4 of Stone Blocks Cave Cavopolis. We're playing Cavopolis. Uh, I only streamed a couple of days ago, and if you missed the stream, lots has changed. Also, my computer's lagging because it's still loading everything. Do this first, please. Um, I, do you remember there were stairs here? There are not stairs here now. We've dug out all of this, and all of this stuff that was um, upstairs is now downstairs, and I've replaced all of the pipes with pipes with a Z. So... This is both more and less efficient. For some reason, I needed a second igneous extruder to keep up here. When we had pipes with the uh, pretty pipes here, when this was over here, um, I decided to move everything because I finally got to the point where I could uh, uh, I could afford a bucket, an iron bucket. I thought I had a backpack, but I don't. I'm pressing B as if I had one. Um, I could afford an iron bucket so I could move the lab, but unfortunately, I moved the igneous extruder first and turn the lava into obsidian, so I've got two obsidians now, uh, well then. And I've got two igneous extruders now, the lava's still underneath this, so that's how those are working. But when it was there, we had one igneous extruder making um, stone pebbles for this, and for this, and for this when they were upstairs, do you remember? Maybe you do. And it was keeping up, it was perfectly balanced as all things should be. When I replaced it with this setup, which should be identical, um, I mean, yeah, this is currently moving, trans transferring four items a second. But you might say, oh, this pipe's too slow. But the trouble is, this was going down. Right? This was too slow as well. And this is still creating some. This is perfectly keeping up, you can see. In fact, it's not. Look at that, it's just lost one. But these will um, these will balance out, you know. Once that one runs out, this one will keep up, pick up the slack. So between them, there's plenty, because this is not used up and this is you know almost keeping up but not quite but this is melting into lava as you'd expect which is keeping up so these are filling up full of lava completely and yet this is still constantly cooking and then these have got full of stone pebbles basically permanently so this is only just keeping up with this and i don't understand <laughs> i basically don't understand because this shouldn't be, if it was the pipe, then this would be full, and this would be going down. But this is going down, so this is not producing fast enough. And there's two of them. I don't get it. Anyway, we replace it with pipes with a Z, which is kind of cool. I like pipes with a Z because you only need to deal with this end of any pipe. right? Because, see, these two pipes, they're both going into there and there. So this is carrying both water and lava, just like the other one was. I grant you, the other one was fine. Um, but... First of all, you can have, you know, one pipe between two things and it will transfer them because it has two ends. Um, I, I actually, honestly, that is probably the primary preference that I have for them is that this end has configuration and this end it doesn't have configuration because it's not pulling. You can only configure the pulling out end, but you get the idea, right? You can, the two ends of the pipe are separate. So this was expensive. It goes all the way around here. Now, here's a contraption that was necessary, but unfortunately, it was necessary. Let me explain. This is outputting coal. It's also outputting lapis. This is outputting redstone, and it's also outputting metals. Both of them are outputting metals. Only the metals want to go into here. These are uh, furnaces, obviously. So, as these fill up these, see, these are producing lapis, and it's going to produce coal. I want the coal to go in the bottom. Currently, it's charcoal, actually, which... Okay, let's skip ahead a little bit. I want the coal to go in here. Not in here. But Minecraft furnaces are stupid. and will let you put coal in there. So if I allowed coal to go into this system, they will go in the top of here instead of bypassing them and going into there. So what I've had to do, and I've sort of future-proofed this a little bit as well, is I've made a draw controller and some locked drawers, and the locked drawers only accept the the metals that we're trying to melt. Now I'm not worried about wasting charcoal here, even though these are painfully, ridiculously slow. I'm not worried too much about wasting charcoal because charcoal is now essentially infinite. Because I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but this ensures that coal does not go into this system. So this is a buffer. It's a filter between this system and this system. The downside of pipes with a Z is you cannot filter on the input. You can only filter what you output. So you would have to have two pipes and two of these and 
diamonds in order to make the filter an option to get this to work. Instead, I use locked drawers to make the filter. So if the item can go in there, I believe by default this is using uh, nearest first. So you can change this, but only if you have a gold upgrade. But by default, it's nearest first. So it will go into here if it can, and it will go into here if it can't. But notice also all of these drawers are locked as well. So each of those things only has one or possibly zero destinations if I add another one and don't set it up properly. Makes sense. Everything only has one place to go. So anything that comes out of here either goes into those drawers or goes into those drawers and then it gets pulled out of these drawers and again put into there. Now this is pulling the charcoal out, putting them in the back, which is where it lives apparently. And the charcoal, I did this uh, right at the end of the stream, spent a little bit longer than I should have. I've made the pretty pipes because these are cheaper because the, the pipes with a Z are made out of pretty pipes anyway and bronze which was really annoying and I kept getting it wrong and I accidentally I made some copper in here and then cooked it again even though it's two to one so I just wasted some copper for no reason. This pipe goes all the way upstairs because it can and all the way back down again because it can all the way along the ceiling through the noisy place and into here. We added hoppers to all of these because we have iron now and these are uh, basically churning through sticks like they're going out of fashion. In fact, they are going out of fashion because... So we learned that we can put sticks into a compacting drawer and get stick stacks. The problem with using sticks individually is if you only have one stick, it will not completely cook an item, right? A stick stack will cook one and a half items. So this is sustainable. If you put a stick in there, but there's only one stick, then it will start to cook the item and the stick will run out and if you don't quickly, if you don't have a second stick, basically, it will not complete cooking the item. It will uncook the item. So we have to make sure that you at least get a full item out of anything that goes in as fuel. So we decided to put down a compacting drawer. I say we on stream, we um, were all helping out each other out as we do. We man managed to figure out that you can make a compacting drawer to create stick stacks. There are actually 15 in here. I haven't got my quantity key. I'll show you. Um, there are 15. This, I think this is going down slowly and the reason is that these don't produce sticks fast enough basically as soon as these produce any sticks at all it immediately gets pulled out and put into here but it's not fast enough to keep on top of the stick stacks however i thought of this this is now full of charcoal okay so anything can i even get in here yes this is trying to pull things from both here and here um, can I show you with a right mouse click? Yes. So this is retrieving charcoal and stick stacks. The reason it's not retrieving any charcoal is there's nowhere to put the charcoal because this is full of stick stacks. However, if we run out of sticks, we have a backup of charcoal, which will last a lot longer. You can do eight full, you know, you make eight more pieces of charcoal from one piece of charcoal. So once these sticks run out, we're going to be sustaining ourselves on charcoal. And I've reduced this with a storage downgrade so there's only 64 in it because I only need one stack of charcoal really. When the sticks run out it's going to start drawing charcoal. When it's drawing charcoal it's basically infinitely sustainable. The fun part is that well, first of all I had to use these pipes in this case because this pipe was just tediously slow. It couldn't pull often enough and it was taking so long to get I don't know if the speed of it getting there was a problem but it was doing it so infrequently that it just couldn't keep up. Now it's drained all of the sticks, but that's fine because we've got a back stuffing of charcoal. And then of course, the thing we just showed you is the second destination for the charcoal. Remember if it draws a piece of charcoal, it's gonna make eight more. And one of them is immediately gonna go into there. Is it? Yes, because I've connected this up again. Uh, that's how it's in there in the first one. <laughs> I'm asking, my, I'm double guessing myself. This is full of charcoal because this has filled it with charcoal. I didn't put that in there. And then the rest of it goes all the way over here, back to home. So we automated a lot. I didn't automate this thing, although I do want to. I connected these together so that you can use the draw controller. And I think I also planted some sugar cane on the hopes that it will be helpful. This seems to grow as much as it wants. That's cool. Look how far that's growing. Do I need to use an ax? Yeah. 
Doesn't hurt, right? To harvest things every now and then. There you go. There's coal in here. There's also a furnace here. What are you for? Don't know. So, uh, I guess progression today. Let's go back to crafting because it's really noisy here. Hush everybody. Oh, that's better. And we'll look at our quests. So we got through more ores, nearly. I've got to do constant tan, which is kind of easy. It's actually just um, nickel and copper. Copper nickel. It's Copernicus. Wait, no, it's called constant tan. Uh, so you can see that we have some bronze. We have a little bit of constant tan. This is still slow as heck. So I'm going to take some of that and some of that. I'm not going to burn all of this. I'm not going to turn all of this into dust. Because don't forget, I'm sure we get two um out of each anyway like when we merge these together we'll get two ingots worth of dust right let's put all that back so we can get our constant well that'll just do itself over time uh pipes so we made all these pipes and we've got the universal pipe to make so the universe that's the block of constant time so when we've done that we can do this the universal pipe is interesting i haven't actually used it yet and i'm not sure how it works um because i guess we'll find out but i want to know if you can sort of tell it what to pull and we're looking at first power we did get a bucket it's time for a fluid cell frame copper glass and a bucket so let's uh you can watch me craft stuff because that's oh we also learned how this worked. I said I'd do this in between streams, but I never did. So this here is sort of an overflow for this stuff. Um, it's going to be a problem because, of course, we can't... Oh, I ended up telling it to disallow charcoal. Because obviously this is closer, so it was all going into there. The reason there was 11 in there is that they were already on their way when I disallowed it. But um, you get no flint. So I've got a drawer of drawers down here. We also experimented because we thought that there would be a, a limit to the drawer controller's, you know, effective distance. But it seems like there isn't. Uh, we thought it was 12 blocks because the internet said it's 12 blocks, but down there, it still works. So who knows? Uh, this thing. Okay, so we've got a crafting terminal. It's not hugely very very cool but it is really helpful <laughs> you know it's it's useful let's put it that way it's not quite as amazing as ae2 which is in the pack but it's also not completely useless so for example if i do this and this i can request these and it will say sending one set of ingredients brilliant so it can find all of these things in the network it's got this uh, chest connected to it it's got all these drawers connected to it including those ones you shift click with JEI to put zero things into the crafting terminal. You press the request button and it either tells you what isn't available or it brings everything. And you can alt click to request things anyway. And if you do that, then you can provide the things that aren't in the network, which means you don't have to wait for things to show up in the network or put things in the network if you don't want to. Uh, cool, so water generator is next. We should probably just go through these and add them to the list look, because we're going to be doing that a lot. So let's invar plate. It's a multi servo press. Aha. Which is what we're going to be making. Yeah, here it is. So we'll do that. That's the, that's the anvil. It's going to be a lot of iron. <laughs> we may want to increase our ability to. Um, Produce ores. And then mechanism pipes. Invar. We just need to do invar blend. Okay. Um, so, as we've noted, this is quite slow. Every now and then something appears in here. Right, we, we've got an amount. It's just not a very big amount. What's this for? Don't know. Uh, so let's uh, let's continue with this. We gotta make our wall add generator. Ah, a redstone flux cell frame. Why are you in the wrong order then? So we need to make this. So we need to make this. Can we do that? Yes. <laughs> so you just have to wait. You can see them flying out of the thing here. It'll pull them one at a time. And I did accelerate this ever so slightly so that when things come out of the pipe, they actually 
arrive on time. They arrive nice and quickly. This also, by the way, uh, you can charge up. We currently don't have wireless charging, so I'll have to charge it manually, but that's okay. Uh, maybe I'll make a second one, but we'll do this first. Um, so it says flux capacitor not found, but I've given it one. That's okay. Uh, you can alt click. I don't know why I ought to hold backspace for that, but it is what it is. And then this. So it's going to say fluid cell not found, eroder, iranu. So uh, I guess we need that. Oh, come on. Wooden hopper, wooden water bucket, right. So this is where it gets not so much fun because you have to keep clicking on things. It's not like AE2 in the sense that you can't um, request the next thing in the list. Right. If you put stuff in here, by the way, it will go somewhere because there's no room because all those are locked. That's what I put this chest here for, basically, so that it can catch things. Um, and then we want a wooden water bucket, which is a wooden bucket, which is where's all my stuff? There it is. Um, can we clear this? Oh, so you, now you can request three. So you, you request three logs. Also, by um, what I didn't note is that because this is actually connected all the way over there, if I do this, that if it wasn't, I think those are here, but that's 61, 64. That's like nearly three stacks. That's probably about as much as written there actually. I thought that that would have connected up all of the saplings and stuff, but actually it hasn't. Uh, let's go and fill this with water. We could also automate these eroders, which is has been on my mind for a while. Uh, which, by the way, are probably ready now. So you go in there, make an eroder. Go. What's that water bucket take? There you go. So if I shift click this, it goes in there, and then you can whoop, goes into there. Very much good. You request uh, wooden bouquet not found. Please give me three more of these, because they they could be anywhere, right? And this reminds me very much of an old. I think I said this recently. It's reminiscent of Buildcraft. Buildcraft had this pipe system. What I thought you said wooden bucket not found, and yet wooden bucket found, um, where you could have these automated recipes and it would allow you to have layers of recipes like AE2 but it would have to send everything around the system so you would be waiting for it but that also I do remember now had a wait what it's because it's not a wooden bucket it's an eroder uh, it had a wireless terminal that you could use hey it went in there that's cool Oops, meant to do that. There we go. Uh, and it was interesting because the stuff would come out of the wireless terminal, but they'd still have to travel around the pipes in the background in order to get crafted. <laughs> it was some sort of magic. So we need another one of these. Which means we need another one of these. So you can't just click on it there either. So can I have that? Yes. Kind of tempted to maybe have a second one, but we can make one when we need one. Can I have that? Yes. And then this. And then Anvil. And I have that. See, this, I believe, is going to get just as confused as anything else by the concept of compacting drawers. Because it doesn't know that you've not got these iron blocks and this many uh, ingots. You've got this many iron blocks or this many ingots. So it's not going to know that when it uses an iron block, it subtracts from the available ingots. But that's okay. Uh, you go in there. You go in there. Can we have this now? Invar ingot not found. We haven't made invar yet. Of course we haven't. So let's do this. We've got iron dust and nickel dust. Well, I know that I'm going to want... First of all, it's twice as much iron as nickel. <laughs> but you can't do three because you need two do any at all. So we're going to be doing it this way, I'm afraid. It's possible I shouldn't really make this much constant tan. I will not make this much constant tan. 
I'm going to save my nickel disc and put it in. No, we're going to save my nickel disc because I want my nickel disc. Copper disc can go in there. Constantine can get cooked. Get cooked, yo. And then we'll have a Constantan block. This should be ready. This should be ready. So we can. Well, it wasn't a nickel that I was precious about, really, was it? We might as well make the rest of it. It's the iron that we need more of, and unfortunately, that is not going to happen. <laughs> you get in there. So we might as well make this. Because what else are you going to do, right? Invar, there's no, no room for Invar. Also, I need to have one in my inventory. But it will be sad. And then we can put a compacting drawer down. That goes in there. Woohoo! And lock it. Good locking. We should get our chest, bo chest key thingy. This one. So that we can boot this. Go three. Uh, have we got a block yet? Have we got a block yet? Have, have we got it? Thank you. Yay! Chapter complete. Brilliant. Right, so we're making this now. When they can come from different ends of the pipe, they show up at different times. I don't know if you've noticed that. We've got a mod server press. Woohoo! Don't need that. So we need a lot more iron. Iron comes from this process very, very slowly. <laughs> so I'm thinking what we might want to consider is having more of these. Are you full? You are. I could have a second ore extractor simply running off of that. It doesn't need anything other than a... No, you're the one that's making iron. Oh, that's right. I did it in this order. So we can expand in that direction as we get the next tier. So are you full? You are full. Are you full? Maybe. So we do need a tier one. That's fine. We can put a second one here and a third one there if we really wanted to. Uh, to test the limit of this, basically. Because it's stabilised at this, this much. Every time we create one, it uses one, as far as I can tell. Are you filling up? I think it might actually be filling up by... 50 millibuckets every time we look at it, but when it caps out, yeah, so if there isn't room for it, it's not going to do anything. It's going to make 200 millibuckets, so if there's, when it gets to 15,850, it will make one now, it'll go down to 650, because it's going to use 200. It's going to go up to 850 and stop, because there's no room for the next 200. So that is more than full enough at this point. I think if I put a second one in, it will start to drain, um, which is a bit of annoying, bit, a bit annoying. So what we're doing? We're making, we've done that, we've done that, we've done that. Are there any rewards for any of this? <laughs> Configurator. Okay, that's mechanism. We'll get there. So we want to put the multi-server press down, but at some point we're going to want power. So we've got water. Okay, so this is where we start doing power stuff. Why do we want to put that? Hmm. Let me decide and I'll come back to you in a minute. No wonder it was loud. Look how many we've got now. We might need to have a cull. You may call me insane and I agree. But while I... <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is use that upstairs place that I've been... Because there's... See this furnaces? I have been using it. And it's sort of a temporary place to set up a new construction. So what's happening here? There's 24... Um... Ignis extruder recipes. Now, one of them is happening over there, but that's nothing. So I dug out 12 of these chambers. Not the full things, just some little boxes so I could count them. So I can have all 24 Ignis extruders eventually go in down there. And that takes us to Y equals uh, Z equals 20, 81. It takes us to Z equals 81. So I made a location called Power, which takes us to further than Z equals 81. So over here somewhere is about where that corridor finishes. And I went a little bit further. I just dug out 64 blocks with Vein Miner. And then I went, that's too far. And the reason that's too far is not because anything's crazy or insane, but because I can't really afford to make that many cables just yet. Look how long it is. So 
as with everything else, let's start simple, put stuff up here. This can be our sort of staging ground for figuring out how things would work, right? So we're going to put down our water generator, our multi servo press. And this is how we're going to make our flat things. This hurts every time you jump down. You know, such is the price of progress. Um, we want probably just a couple of these. Now, how does this work exactly? Water generator can also turn ore forming water into power. So do I need to pipe water in? That being the case, maybe I'm doing this wrong. So I was suddenly realized, yeah, okay. That's not how this works. <laughs> I suddenly realized, hang on, that's not how it works because um, we, I was thinking that it might be like the ones from whatever mod it is where you put the running water next to it. So that's what I was about to do. But of course, that's not what you do at all. Stop picking up two every time I do that. I'm just going to get that back. We just need an aqueous accumulator. And the nice thing about the aqueous accumulator is that I think it is vastly overproducing for our needs right now. So we'll put this. In fact, what we, this little obsidian here can be our testing stuff out area. Or maybe this one. Um, but we've got a, a nearby aqueous accumulator. Let's just put it here. Screw it. There you go. How are you doing? You still alright? Not you. You? More than enough water, right? And this is full. So you're producing energy. Great. And then we'll put this here. And you're accepting energy. Woohoo! So what are we doing? Invar plate and Constantan plate. I remember something needed a Constantan block. So I'm not going to use too many of these. How many are we going to need? It only wants us to make one. I'm guessing this, so it's two for that. Uh, what's this made of? Constantin and Invar. So we're going to need to make several. And then this is, okay. We can afford to make more Invar than Constantin, right? So I think we just make half a stack of this. Uh, sorry. So half a second, half a block, I suppose, is more sensible. And I guess all of this? <laughs> Make eight of each because of reasons. I kind of don't want to go overboard, really. So you make that. And then let's go get some food. Stomach went raw when I said food. It knows. Maybe we should start culling some of our... Maybe you can make leads. What does the lead cost? Is it just leather and string? Oh, slime. Corroding magma. I don't think there's anything that we can get slime from that isn't... What are you doing? No. We need to cull the cows. But not everything else. <laughs> Very hard to hit just the one thing. Stop having such sweep on you. I want to hit just the thing I'm aiming at. For. Oh, it's fine. There's too much stuff in here anyway. Everything just died. Get dead. Too many sheep, too many coos. They don't care, look. What are you? Oh, you're just a dark chicken. Okay. I thought you were like a weird frog. <laughs> Might you get. Different coloured feathers. You are useless, so get lost. Right, everyone quieten down in there, okay? Cook some things. So let's make... Uh, run program. Let's go back here. This should be finished. Sproinging around by now. We can make the invar... I made iron. I made iron plates. I meant to make invar plates. I'm sure I'll need iron plates or something. Okay. Do I need iron plates or something? One thing. Prevents the slot from being used. <laughs> that's the only thing they're used for. I'm not even turn them back into iron. Well, that's what happens when you are recording. Uh, but I still don't want to do like too many, so let's do 16 of these. Anything struggling on water? Nope. Even you're full. We are using more than you're letting me have, actually, which is interesting. What did that cost us? How did you make that? 
Oh, it's a lot of wood. Because <laughs> it's one of these, isn't it? Which are really annoying to make. And you have to wait for it to finish before you can make the next thing. You can't prepare the next step of the system. Uh, I need this, but you're never going to have a wooden bucket of water. So do this. And then this. Oh, those things as well, though. You put two wooden buckets in there again. Why would you do that? So weird. Are you weird? Maybe it doesn't know the custom machinery things? Are the wooden buckets also? No, they're just from wooden buckets. Whatever. Uh, get that in there. Get that in there. We can make a second water generator while we wait, I suppose. Um, so we won. Well, we have to get rid of this now. <laughs> Go away. Do, 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 do. Everything in here will go into the drawers as well, by the way, if you, uh, if you would like it to go away. Why have we got these? Uh, so we need one of these, which is a real bucket. Yep. Click. Yeah, picture, delete. This, 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 go. What a waste of iron, huh? This, 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 go. Drink this, this again. <laughs> Go. I can a lot of these. These are expensive recipes for a sky block, don't you think? What? I just gave it you. Oh, I didn't turn it into the thing. What? Redstone flux cell frame. Go. Okay. I just didn't do it. Never mind. False alarm. And then this. Go. And then that won't get filled in because something's broken. Oh no, it did this time. Nice. So we can do this a second time. So now we need an energy pipe. <laughs> Which we don't have any of yet? Sure, I've made energy pipes. Yeah, I must have because I got the quest reward for it. Oh, that's what the. Um, that's the point. That's what the uh, Constantan block was for, wasn't it? To make the universal pipe. Was this energy. Now remember you have to shift right click on the part of it that you want to extract energy in order to extract energy. So that's perfectly balanced as all things should be. Yes, yes, yes. Well done. So we need a third one for that to gain energy. But of course it's going to finish. Like right now. And then that's going to fill up. And then when that's filled up is it because of 16 that that looks different? Maybe. Was that not the quest? Invar plates. Why did I make nickel plates? I'm making so many mistakes. Is anyone surprised? Stoning it? I don't have any blinking nickel. That one. Did I not? Invar. And I immediately did it again. Here it is. I never won. I need to make more. Well, I guess I'll be back in a minute. We have all the pieces for the universal cable. <laughs> Chapter completed. Now let's put this down whilst we wait for this to happen and see what it looks like. So, I guess you have to, first of all, actually extract in order to get anything out of it. Then. Ah, look! So you get four... That's pretty cool. So you can have an upgrade on each one. But you can't... It's going to extract everything, you realise. So if you've got items and liquid in a thing, it's not helpful, unless you want to extract the items and the liquid. I'm trying to think in which universe <laughs> this is helpful. <laughs> Why do I want this? Um, I suppose in some cases you have multiple types being pulled out. But mostly I have multiple types being put in, which actually probably actually also actually helps, actually, because wait, I've got all these cables and stuff here, but I could easily replace all this with the universal cables and have, you know, some of it 
Well, I wouldn't need all of these. I could connect these to the universal cable. Well, I could have universal cables connecting all that up. And then this could be pulling out lava and this can be pulling out items. And this can still feed in the items, but it can also feed them into there as well. Uh, theory crafting. It seems weird. Um, anyway, I'll be back when I have crafted some actual nickel instead of screwing everything up. What? That was. I made two of those. I didn't make two of those. Back in a minute. Now we are in our pipe. Thank you. <laughs> Finally got it right. So what's the pipe pressurized? When connected to you pretty pipes network, this block will speed up the movement of the items in the pipes. That's helpful. Because that means we only need one of it. It's four constant in place, block of redstone and some iron. Iron is not it's not horrible. <laughs> I wish we didn't have to use it. Let's make one. Because everything's slow. I don't see why we shouldn't. Does it require power? Yes. I don't like the fact that you require so much hitting. Can I? No. Right. So we're going to want to get power over there. I wonder if you can um, connect a universal cable so they can pass through each other. Hmm. This being said, I don't believe there. I'm going to make another one of these. I'll be back in a minute. So I thought what we can do, put a little bit more power into this. That'd be fine. No one's going to complain about that. Boop. And we can also go up here. Oh, perfect actually perfect because I knew that was going up there but I didn't realize it was so close that's really good I thought it was a little bit further up because that lines up with that as you can tell so if I put this here and this I made some extra pipes just in case and look there we go filling up with fees doesn't seem to use too much I'm guessing it filled up real quickly because oh this one isn't actually going to give like this is the only one that's going to power it Ooh, I wasn't too smart okay so then I want to pick this up do you think this will lose its stuff uh, is there a thermal can I have a thermal wrench please Oop. I just want to pick that up I'm not sure if it's got one yeah there's one crescent hammer iron 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 Hammer. <laughs> well, we do need to make that. We might as well. Uh, this, 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 this. Go. Wow, look how fast that was. And then this is four iron ingots. So iron. That's all of them. <laughs> We're going to have to wait, unfortunately. Um, be able to finish this because I also need the rest of the iron. <laughs> I should make more of these, shouldn't I? I said I would. But we're kind of, I mean, episode's gone on a bit, so I guess we just wait for it to get done. Iron is uh, thin on the ground at this point. This is all going at the same speed as it was, but it's just that every now and then I would come along and do it myself. So it seemed like we got a big influx of iron, but we were still using it. <laughs> Especially since I kept throwing it away and ruining it. Can you not like cook this down again? No. I kind of tempted to cheat myself some of that back in. But you know, what are you going to do? Um, so, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. I hope you join me on stream. This is obviously going out on a Tuesday evening. The next stream will be this time next week. Don't forget also every Tuesday, Friday, alternate, uh, Thursdays and Fridays alternating. We play DDASS, which we're coming to the end of. And we're thinking of picking up uh, a new series on Vault Hunters. So, you know, keep an eye out. Join the Discord. It's in the links below. Leave a like if you would care to. And obviously tell everybody else how amazing these videos are so that they can watch them too. 
And if you're playing along at home, I hope your progress is doing better than mine. Don't make the silly mistakes I keep making and putting the wrong thing in the thing. So until next time, thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.